Well, welcome everybody to We Are Freedom House and we are welcoming you to the place where this all started. We are about to go through a number of cool moments over the next few videos where we describe who we are as a church. And it's really important for you. Some of you are looking to join Freedom House. Some of you have recently joined us and it's really important for every single one of us to understand the story of who we are. And uh, tonight, it's the Grams and the Matthews. We get to hang out together and uh, we want to take you through the story of where this all began. And uh, it's an exciting story. It's something that we're super passionate about and we absolutely love and we all look back so fondly uh, over. But over the next couple of weeks, we want to take you on a journey of describing who we are, we are, where we've come from, what we believe, and how we want to do life together with you. And, and we're really excited for you to consider coming on the journey with us. We think Freedom House is absolutely awesome. Amen. And we wouldn't want to be anywhere else in the world. And we are just so thankful that God's woven our lives together. And we are amazed that we get to be a part of this in incredible Freedom House journey. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're going to have a conversation, discuss this amazing moment, but it all started. It was conceived here, but it started way back. We were, we were chatting earlier about a 40 day fast and uh, Nick, why don't you kick us off? Tell us how this all began, my good man. So there I was. I, I had many questions in my heart that I think God had birthed um, just with regards to where I saw the church at um, holistically and God had started asking me some questions and I was on a journey and I, I asked for a meeting with Ryan and, and during that meeting you know I really felt that the many of the questions that I had with regards to the church were answered mm -hmm. in, in, in some way and it, it resonated with me and some of those questions were basically around you know what what excites me is an activated priesthood is where every believer is knows who they are, knows how to advance the kingdom, and everybody is, is participating. From marketplace people to people who are at school to stay-at-home mums, everybody is just as, as passionate about eternity with the Father as they are uh, as passionate about advancing the kingdom in the here and now. Yeah. And I think that was just a question that we had, and it was a discussion, and, and that resulted in in the beginning of the journey and, and a meal that followed afterwards. From fasting to feasting. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Where were we at? So it was in Gateway. Beluga. 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 Yeah. Beluga. Over sushi. sushi. And dim sum. And dim sum, that's right. Of course. And I think what was amazing is that, you know, we had been discussing for a while and saying, God, there's got to be more. We want to see the church needs to leave the building. We want to see a priesthood that's activated. We want to see a people that's running hard after you and you alone and you're the center. And we kind of, we'd been wrestling this thing. And when we met with, with you guys, you put into words what we for so long had been the cry of our heart. Mm. And it was just such a, a heart DNA connection. Mm. I remember sitting with Nick in the car afterwards and just crying and just saying, they get it. We're not crazy. <laughs> There's other people that desire to see crazy. that are equally <laughs> crazy. That desire to see the kingdom advance in everyday life, not just on a Sunday. And I think that was our heart cry. Awesome. Yeah. That was that was um, November, December. Yes, 2015. 2000, 2015. Yeah, 2015. And yeah. Uh, the first time we got together, because we were, you know, Melissa and I were, of course, we were leading. Glenridge at that stage and um, but the first time we got together in your home describe that for us it was a special moment yeah, was, that would have been January 2016 yeah. January 2016 yes and I, I think you know there was a certain amount of trepidation in yes. my heart because we'd, we'd <laughs> obviously opened up a house and it's we'd invited a couple of people and you never really know who's going to come who's going to pitch up no. what it's going to be like and I think I remember after that first meeting that we had and a whole load of people came and we literally had to open up our sliding doors and there were chairs outside. And, you know, Taryn has so regularly referred to those times as, you know, we felt like dry bones. Yeah, and exactly. it was like the dry bones started to live again from that first meeting. Yeah. And yeah. I, it was such a rag, it was like a ragtag bunch of people that yeah. we were just 
so we were dry we were and we were so hungry for something more of the reality of the kingdom mm -hmm. and um, so when we got together it was there was a bit of trepidation I even remember I'll remember the little story with Jan Willem and Melissa Jan had had come to me as a, a physio patient from a friend of mine in PE and they had literally just moved here and as he was leave or as he was coming up my stairs he sort of said you know we're new to the area where can we go for church? So I said, well, um, actually, we're having our first <laughs> church meeting in our home tonight. You're welcome to come. Wow. And they came from that very moment. And it's just little moments like that where people that God brought into our lives that just arrived and just all just seeking the more. Yeah. Yeah. What I think is amazing is that you and I were there for that first, yes. yeah. Yeah. That first ho home group meeting which yes. I just think is so profound yeah. because obviously we were living in Durban at the time and we just so happened to be here for that very first mm -hmm. one That's that amazing. birthing and I do remember from that evening you say it was like water on dry bones okay. um, yeah. but I do I remember the worship was just incredible it was just a bunch of people in this lounge just worshiping Worship. in a very raw and real space, yeah, and yeah, then prophetic words flowing. Mm, and states, just, Mark Sturton yeah. with us. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. So I beautiful. remember driving back. Um, <laughs> yeah. You, me, Mark Sturts. Yeah. And obviously, we've got a, a long history, and Cliff and Ems, and the list goes on and on. You know, yeah, Matt and Kerry and yeah. Brett Rowlands, longtime friends, oh, yes, etc. Yeah. Just so many interconnected yeah, stories, yeah. and driving away going. Hmm. What, what, yeah, what's going on here, you know, and, yeah. and going, I remember distinctly saying to you, yes. could this be that we get to have another opportunity wow. to journey with such incredible yeah, men and women? So we were blown away. And uh, we were completely blown away. And we weren't, were we looking to plant a church, guys? No. no. And we weren't looking to start anything, no. No. And I think that's the beauty of the inception of Freedom House. Yeah. We've always wanted to be a people of the wind yes. as Alexander yes. said the people of the spirit yes. Yes. where where we are led by him where we are not in control and we are led by the the profound leadership yes. of Jesus yes. and we've stumbled into this yes. you know yeah. so we had that first meeting how, you know remind us all of how it progressed because it actually feels like it started moving pretty yes, quickly it yeah, yeah. I mean, the worship for me was was profound um, no, just how it kind of touched my heart. The worship was great. It was just a beautiful summer's evening. Mm -hmm. And I think the entire atmosphere, and I think that's what really touched my heart that evening, is the Spirit was just moving in and amongst the people. Yeah. Incredible yeah. prophetic words. Taz, maybe you want to share just on the on yeah, Joe's prophetic some, words. There were some incredible words. And I remember Joe and, and Theo, and I remember Joe, there was a word that came. Um, and literally, it was almost the wording was quite odd. But she immediately sort of sat up, and I think it was one of the first times anything she had received a prophetic word like that, which would literally, she had said to her husband, I feel like I wish I could look into a glass ball yes. and a crystal ball. And Mark Sturton said, someone here says they feel like they've been looking into a crystal ball and her eyes just went yeah. wide. And God just ministered to her so beautifully. It just opened up. And I think there were so many stories like that where, yeah, the presence of, the presence of God was just so beautiful and so real and so raw in those spaces and lives changed yeah. lives changed and so did you guys then start meeting every week or was it every second week can you not remember no? yeah no. we started every second week didn't yeah. we? every second initially week, yeah. the but very group. quickly yeah. the hunger was there i think it was it was a ragtag bunch of people just hungry for something and once once it started, like you said, it was an idea. I mean, in fact, I remember someone saying to Nick and I, wouldn't you think of planting a church? And we're like, mm -mm, no ways. But God had a different idea. So this was something really birthed in the heart of God. And very quickly, people were hungry and wanted to, and said, no, guys, please, can we meet weekly? Because it was during the week. And then within a couple of months, Oh, people was, were saying, it was even quicker yeah, than that. yeah, we, we need weekly. some sort of a Sunday expression. Yeah, there were so many kids. Well, the yeah. There were. There I remember so that discussion. Kids. We met at the bottom of, of Brentwood. We, we met in, in the, the trees, trees. Yeah. with the kids and yeah. Amelia and beach. Mark. And That's right. We had beach. church on the beach. Yeah. We had church at the farm, at Bron yeah. and um, the Ebbs Farm. Yeah. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. You know what, I, I, what I recall taking place was very quickly, it was every second Wednesday. Yes. And then we, we t took a decision. Yes. to get some of the, the core guys and girls to begin to talk about 
yeah. the nature of the yes. kingdom. Yes. And that's when we started meeting every Wednesday. Yes. Yes. And I went to every alternate Sunday because yes. of the number of kids. Yes. And I remember you guys coming, listen, there's so many kids. What, what do we do? What do we do? You know? <laughs> yes. But that, that's kind of been one of the, the, how can I say, hallmarks of Freedom House from the beginning is it's never been programmatic. No. It's never, we've been, we've never been trying to do something. And if you remember one of the discussions that we've had, we've always been playing catch up with the yes. father. It's yes. like yes. the father's yes. moving yes. and we're, yeah. we're just moving along with it and, and, and finding things that work with, with, where the fruitfulness is within the church. Yeah. yeah, it's such an awesome story. Shall we fast forward a little bit? I'm just mindful yes. of um, the time. Uh, let's fast forward to the moment where we began to realize this thing needed to go to another level. Yes. Obviously, we were leading Glenridge at the yes. time. We were, we were talking to you guys. Yes. Should you, shouldn't you lead? Should we get other people in to lead? And it felt like <laughs> it needed some leadership, yes. but Clearly, the call of God on your life is, well, you guys are just such stalwarts. Mm -hmm. These guys are champions. We, we might lead the team, but these guys are uh, the absolute heroes, you know. But uh, tell us the story around that. It's quite, quite interesting. The discussion over supper. <laughs> yes. Well, um, Mel and Ryan came up for supper, and there was this, I remember like a pause in the conversation where we, we were discussing who was going to lead what was emerging in, in Freedom House. And we kind of turned around to you guys and said, well, we, we aren't, you? Aren't, aren't you guys, <laughs> aren't you guys going to need this thing? And it's like, no. Yeah. And there was that kind of discussion around, around who was going to lead. And, uh, and again, I think it's just that same trademark of, of playing catch up with the father. Yeah. And, and no one lead. trying to own no. something. No, 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 your church plant or no. our church plant and yeah. this was, yeah. it was the a, father's yeah, exactly. idea this yeah, was yeah. his plan because we were still leading Glenridge at yeah that you were yeah. leading Glenridge yeah. and and I remember turning to Nick and saying oh, I'm sure they're going to come up here and, and you were like no 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 we don't and yeah. then it was a couple yeah. of it was a couple yeah. of months yeah. later yeah. that yeah you said yeah. no you're leading it we were like oh no we don't feel like we need to leave our marketplace oh, we spaces must, <laughs> we, we, we must tell everybody what actually took place so we and staying in your home yes you remember yes. that this is amazing guys this is awesome. <laughs> where did we go where were we in? we went to st francis you went okay. to st francis and you said come have holiday here but yes. we had recently handed over the team at glenridge we thought we might go to london uh, etc we come and have holiday here and while we're having holiday in, in your home, home <laughs> god <laughs> clarifies yeah. everything yeah. Yeah. and it was it was that January again, mm -hmm. yes. or 2017, yes. that we had a discussion, you know, what do you think? And you were right all along. We were playing catch up. We were all playing catch up. <laughs> and then it started moving forward. Yeah. We, obviously, we were a congregation of Glenridge yes. at that stage, yes. a community of Glenridge. And uh, we were meeting in the monkey country at first. Yes. And then a DJ. Met in a bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, monkey <laughs> <in a bar. laughs> it was amazing. Open size. Yes, yeah. open size again. And uh, DJ found uh, where we're meeting now, Burn 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 yeah. But it's funny how we were looking at another site, and the plans that Cliffy put together for that site are Burndale. Oh, Burn the pictures, I've, I've still got the pictures of the plans that Cliffy yes. put together, and the it's building incredible. that he described is Burndale. It's absolutely incredible. Yeah. And even that whole journey of that, you know, we really thought we were going to go into this building. We thought we were going to sublet and um, it just kind of all mm -hmm. fell through. But at the same time, that's when DJ found Burndale and literally it was everything our hearts had desired mm -hmm. and more. Yeah. And I remember you, Nick, saying repeatedly, low cost, high yes. impact. You took the words right out of my mouth. I was about to say that because, and I think that was right for the season. I mean, things may change over over time. We're not... Uh, we're not gonna. Uh, yeah, we're not worshiping at the altar. No, no, no. no. But for the for the season, and one of the reasons that I said that is that I've always felt it it was key that marketplace people could be everything that they could be in every aspect of life. That they can serve in the church, they can preach on a Sunday, they can help lead the community, and they can be everything that they can be Absolutely. in all aspects of life. So we've we've always had a relatively low paid staff but what that does is it enables the rest of the every, to rise up and to function yeah. and gosh that's what we've seen mm. hey yeah. how there is this mm. culture of participation mm. um, and obviously we are leading with a, a core team and, a, and an all leadership team around us yeah. we're, we're part of that mm. uh, we lead that team together with you guys and the rest of that 
but everyone knows you don't have to be a leader no. to to add value yeah, yeah. you know and yeah. everyone's really jumping in the mix mm. you know and really going for it mm. it's very much so. it's amazing and you guys do that so yeah. well honestly watching your lives you guys do that really well <laughs> the <juggle. And> they, <laughs> yeah because it's real life yeah, it's real yeah, life it and that real. was your dream it was yeah. our dream and that's yeah. what you live not every dream's easy to walk yeah. in though <laughs> but you are profound and it's, it's been a an amazing it's been an amazing journey, journey. Yeah. and we've and grown so changing. much yeah it has that's what i was I mean, about to say yeah it really has if i think about it it the way everything grew and you know before we turn around and it's like wow this yeah. is actually an incredible community yeah. <laughs> and yet it, it happened so quickly and it happened so naturally yeah. and it happened yeah. without us feeling like we had to put shoulder to the wheel i'm um, not to say we did it we did but but there was a grace on it yeah. yeah and off the back of that i often describe it or i know we described it a lot as a well sprang up yes. and we gathered around yes. the well yeah. yes. that God yeah. had initiated yes. was his dream. Yeah. Yes, That's why I think it wasn't this the sweat of our brow. No. Yeah. And as you say, Nikki, we're always playing catch up with God, but it was like a well that sprang yeah. up. Yeah. And we are just... But we, we have a very scary problem at hand in that we have so many leaders, huge <laughs> capacity it's people. It's amazing. And I mean, you can throw a stick anywhere yes. and... and, and but I mean, that speaks of so many things. It speaks of what I think the Father is preparing us for yes, long term yeah. um, as well. We have an incredible seedbed of, of people with an incredible maturity, an incredible yes. passion, um, and an incredible yeah. heart. Because in truth, it's, uh, we were conceived in a lounge yes. and birthed in a barn. Yes. And, we, and in, in reality, <laughs> Freedom House is just over three years. April, end of April, yeah. just over three years ago, yeah. a year and a bit uh, un under the banner of Glenridge, yeah. uh, but we we are still in the early days, and God is doing deep foundational work. It's it's incredible, and yet, as you were saying, it's just overwhelming. No, it is. Uh, the caliber of beautiful men and women yeah. that He's adding to us, and already right from the outset, we were talking about not building for the here and the now, yes. not building for Belito or the North Coast. That God has called us to the nations. Yeah, God's absolutely. called us mm -hmm. uh, in, in a multiplicity of ways yeah. to develop deep partnerships and we are passionate about partnerships. Mm -hmm. We're deeply uh, connected with people in South Africa, Australia, India, Zimbabwe, yeah, Zim, <laughs> United <laughs> Kingdom, Island. yeah, Island. exactly. Yeah. And we, we, we're deeply accountable, uh, yet it's not out of obligation, it's out of relationships, gift recognition, mm -hmm. uh, partnership, and uh, we're journeying that incredible journey because that's the humbling mandate mm -hmm. that God would want to use something birth in the barn. And we keep saying all good things start in the barn, you know. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, quite it's remarkable. It's it so much like God to take the <laughs> unlikely yes. and yeah. use it. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's, 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 quite, it's humbling, really. It is humbling. Yeah. I mean, that we started in a house. We've done church in the trees and on the beaches and in, in a, a bar farm. and in, in a, a farm. Bar, yeah. Yeah. And I think that's added to the, the raw nature, yeah, authenticity of, of what we've been doing. That it, you know, there was a word that Matt Roberts shared right at the beginning of, of our journey. And uh, he felt the Lord say to him about, you know, silver and gold I don't have, but what I have I give to you. And I think yeah. that has been, again, one of those trademarks of Freedom House's yeah. journey is that we meet in a barn. Um, people are either attracted to the love that they receive yes. there because it, it's, it's definitely not in the awe and splendor of a, of a building. It's, yeah. it's very raw and natural yeah. and, uh, and about you know, making the real things the real things. Yeah. And guys, guess what? It's just the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's yes. just the beginning. And uh, it feels like we're only getting warmed up. Yes. And it's not to preempt or be, or is, well, you hang out with us long enough, you know there's no arrogance. There's certain conviction and confidence in God, but it's a real exciting thing to be a part of. Yeah. And um, I, I'm sure we would love to call everyone into this journey, you know. Yeah. yeah. I, again, like we started, this is just telling us, uh, telling some of the story. And it is just the beginning. Mm. And we're not looking backwards to prize the past. We're just so thankful of God's yes. grace upon us. Yes. And God's grace gives us such courage to look forward yeah. because it keeps getting better yeah. with God Absolutely. and honestly we said it a moment ago 
We wouldn't want to be anywhere else on the planet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we trust this has been uh, encouraging, letting you into some of our journey. It started right in this place. These are some of the cool, amazing, precious, powerful leaders in Freedom House. And uh, those of you that have recently joined us, this is simply who we are. Nothing flash, but we serve a profound father who's doing remarkable things. And for those that have, uh, are considering being a part of this clan, a Freedom House, it's breathtaking. We, we would love to journey with you. Uh, and uh, I know that you would love journeying with us. Thanks, thanks, Ryan. Oh, thanks, Ryan and Mel. Yeah. Love you. Love you lots. Likewise. Yeah, like All I know is about.